everybody, Andre here with Baseball Canada with Wayne. Wayne, I want to talk uh, to the coaches today about the position of the batters in the batter's box. What are the general uh, considerations? Well, Andre, great question because a lot of baseball fields that our younger players are playing on don't actually have a batter's box mapped out. So in general terms, we have to remember that the strike zone is the front of the plate. But if the batter is a little bit further back in the perceived batter's box, it gives them a little bit more time to react. Yeah, and, and for any batter, um, having more time to react is actually a better thing. Yeah, and the, the thing we have to teach our young hitters to remember is the further back in the box they get, the further back the catcher will get. Yeah. And often when a ball crosses the front of the plate in the strike zone and reaches the catcher, it's not a strike anymore. But it was a strike when it crossed the plate. Are there any situations where we would recommend the batter to move up in the, in the batter's box? Yeah, absolutely. Batter's box? Absolutely. With younger pitchers, sometimes gravity takes over and the ball has a hard time getting Reaching. over the plate yeah. in, the, in the strike zone. So if you see that as a coach consistently, you might want to coach your players to move up a little bit. Because remember, the batter's box technically does go out in front of the plate a little bit. So there we have it, like position uh, in, of the hitter in the batter's box. Going deep in the batter's box gives you more time for reaction. But for kids in development, kids starting to pitch for the first time, where the ball has a hard, harder time reaching whole plate, it might be a good idea to create more action during the course of the game, put the, the, the ball more into play as well to move up in the, batter, in the, in the batter's box. Absolutely.